Another name for an elephant's trunk is proboscis, which you may know from the descriptions of butterflies. The name is an allusion to the order name for all elephants. There are only three living elephant species, although over 180 extinct elephants have been identified. The English word for elephant is derived from this old French word, oliphant. It may seem familiar to any Lord of the Rings fans, as the same word is used for the elephant-like creatures in that story. Of course, the word elephant has even deeper roots, going back to at least ancient Greek. What's more, at first, the term wasn't used to describe the animals, but the ivory of their tusks. In its original use, people may have never even seen the animals the tusks came from. Elephants have a long history with humans. Although they've never been domesticated, humans have captured them and worked with them for millennia. Originally, elephants were used for agriculture, where they would topple trees and clear large swaths of land for farming. Elephants were later used for war purposes, specifically males who were more aggressive towards each other and were less likely to back down from opposing elephants. Their drivers, called mahouts, kept a sword in the event that the animal didn't listen and would kill them on the spot. The use of elephants in war wasn't just part of the ancient past either. Humans and elephants started working together more than 5,000 years ago, and continue to do so into modern times. Elephants were used in both World Wars and the Vietnam War to help move heavy artillery and supplies. The human relationship with elephants isn't all blood and gore. One famous wild elephant was observed for over 30 years. She's known as the most studied elephant. Her name was Echo, and she helped scientists learn all about elephant family dynamics. Echo had a son named Eli, who was almost entirely unable to walk when he was born due to rigid joints in his wrists. Instead of leaving him to perish, his entire family herd stayed by his side to keep him safe until he found his footing again. Speaking of elephant feet, they technically have toes. Although their feet look like one giant pad, inside the bones separate into toes that sit atop a fatty pad. It's almost like they're wearing wedges. Elephant toenails also help give a clue that they have toes inside their trunk-like feet. When they're first born, baby elephant toenails can grow so long they wrap around the soles of their feet and must be worn down as they learn how to walk. You've also probably heard that elephants are the largest living terrestrial animals, and they can easily overheat. But if you weren't aware of these facts, you can learn all about them and more in our full elephant episode. There are cards on screen you can click right now. Go ahead, click one. There's lots to learn. And thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.